Oh, I see. You like to draw furries. Oh yeah, don't you deny that? I know you like Loda Bunny. I mean, um, so in this tutorial, you are going to see how to draw those beautiful, deteriorated the, the legs, furry legs. That's how you say it. Whatever the word is, legs of furries. You know? Yeah, we're gonna do that today. So keep watching for more. Let's go. Woo! When you're going to draw a human leg, you go like, mmm, thigh, mmm, butt, mmm, knee, co knee, co knee, mmm, muscle, mmm, bone, bone, and then you go and make the rest of the feet, right? People normally go and do this. Do you know the only difference? The only difference that they got, yeah, the only difference, you raise up to here, you raise this part. And in the place of going down, it's going to go backwards, okay? It's going to go backwards, yes, because the legs are much bigger since they are like... Eh. Yeah, yeah, Gabs, everybody understand. Eh. <laughs> they understand, Gabs, they know your language. See, it goes, it goes backwards, backwards, okay? Backwards. And it's like... Tiptoes, okay. There are people that do this longer. If this isn't more like a four leg, <laughs> if this is like a four leg, a fairer one, this part is going to be longer. But if it's like the furry intro that we are talking about, that I need to show you, this part is going to be more smaller. More sm yeah, smaller, smaller, smaller. And you can even make it longer, okay? This is this longer. Here, base, little part, big leg. But this one is even more into the real human side. I need to remind you that when you are going to draw a furry and intro leg, you can do it into more human or more into the feral, the animal side. You can just go and be free. First of all, I'm going to draw a big thigh, just like humans have, and then the knee. People normally would already start doing the feet if it was human. But the difference is, this is just an articulation. You can make the fingers like C, 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 C. I used to do like that, but now I do like square. I do them square, square. Just break it. Little line. And then between the line, the middle here, break it, break it. And here, break again. And here, break again. Remember, the two in the middle are bigger, the two on the sides are smaller. Important info. This is the most, okay, stretched leg, I would say. And now we are going to the more bended leg. This one, people have trouble. Here is where the challenge begins, okay? Attention, attention. Knee is not going to go down, it's going to bend. It's going to get a more circular format. Right here, it's a start to change, okay? Can be a triangle shape closing here, but not just like this one. This one is going to close much more, okay? Here. It's going to start here. This meat is going to start right here.
Okay, I'm gonna draw another one. That is the three quarters, but a stretched one. By the way, remember, if you want small legs, just make the muscle smaller. This doesn't normally get more fur when you're drawing the, the furry leg. Close to the butt, back, and uh, muscle part. <laughs> I, ju I just want to say the most, the simplest, the most simple way that I can so people don't get confused. And the muscle here, this part of the leg. And here in the feet, okay? The number tends to accumulate close to the floor, it tends to accumulate. But always, it depends on the size, you can see here, it changes, it al always changes. So I can choose how it's going to be. I can do one like, let me pick here a different one. Yeah, I could do this, a smaller one. I could do like this, I could do like this, why not? Okay, about the boo. If we're going to do those big, big boos, I'm going to just draw the base, just like this. It's pretty much the same. Guys, it's pretty much the same! Let me show you what I would exactly do. Pick this one that is really bending, because the boo would really be bending its leg. I would stretch the bottom part, yeah, like this. I would erase this part. And the change would be exactly here. I'm going to get bigger. Gigantic here. Oh my, that that's too gigantic, Gabs. Here. That's the change, guys. <laughs> that's the change. But if you want to make it more like this one, that it's high. Hi, hi, hi. Take this off. Take this off. Take this off. Take this off. Yeah, take this off. And then you go hi, 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 hi. I drew pretty much the thigh as human, the other part of leg as human, just did those scales. But here, it get long as freak, bro! This part here get long as freak! It's pretty much the basic, the base, but remember, birds does not get huge amount of muscle or fat in those legs. Remember, birds don't get it, it's important, don't get it, why they need to be light, light enough to be able to fly and it should be not heavy, okay? The finger in the middle, remember Velociraptor. The paw of that is just like a Velociraptor. That's Velociraptor. The feet can be like Velociraptor, just like this one, like Or the feet can be 
one in the front, two in the front, and there is only one going down, going backwards. Okay, so I'm going to use the lighten mode. So all these shadows made in sketch are going to get brighter and brighter and brighter. Yeah. Here, right here, click here, and then you go here below multiply color burn. It's going to burn the colors. I recommend you using it on occlusion shadows. Shadows that nobody can touch. The light cannot touch. Okay, I'm right now adding more texture on the fur just by using this much tool right here in Photoshop. You're probably set on blur or sharpen tool, but I'm using this smudge tool. You can just change it to smudge tool. So go here in filter and then you click liquify. But you can just press Ctrl Shift X here. Ctrl Shift X. I mean shift, oh no, that's right, I made it right, okay. If you made something small and you wanna turn it to big, just like everybody in the comments are like, I like Barra, everybody wants me to draw Barra, I don't know what it is, okay. You can just make it bigger by pressing here, do you see this bloat tool, you're gonna bloat everything. Like this, this feet right here, you can make it big. Look at this, it's big. That's what, that's what people like, people want the big feet.
And if you didn't learn how to make those legs and you watched this tutorial until here, comment right now in the comment section. What is your question? Or just send me a question in Instagram. I'm going to reply to you. I'm going to help you. You're not alone in this crazy journey. It would be the same as human. The difference, the difference is that this part here, it's much bigger. <laughs> That's the only difference. This part here is much bigger. But like the food, the human food, feed, food, blah, 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 but it's furry. The same here, it's just much bigger, it's just longer, yeah, that's the word, longer. You just do the normal bending as if it was human. If you do this part here, like tiptoes of human, like it was a human fit, it looks just like the human one, but it's just like completely flat, this part, this part's completely flat, and then here, the fingers. Since you are here, why not subscribe to have even more videos like this, because I know you are on your journey to improve your art and grow. Yes, we are here to offer you top high quality content, and you can find a full playlist of free high quality tutorials for you. Oh, you are looking for even more private classes or feedback and paint overs? Check out my paint roll or check out my game road for previous tutorials with exclusive video of Patreon. You can watch them, you can have those tutorials, you can have everything that you want here. Yeah, that's yours, this channel is yours. Yeah, this channel is yours. So remember, leave a like, subscribe, and why not comment what you want to see next? I want to know what you want to see next. And I'll be seeing you in the next video, champ. You're awesome. Bye-bye!